In this video, we're going to be talking about the difference between a CDL class A and a CDL class B. Now, one of the questions that we get a lot at our office when people want to get a CDL, we ask them, hey, do you want to get a CDL class A or a CDL class B? And the response that we usually get is, well, what's the difference? Well, that's a very important decision to be made when you do decide to get yourself a CDL because they will take you on two different paths when you're going into this new career. So this video is going to break down exactly what a CDL class A is, what a CDL class B is, and why you should get a CDL class A versus a CDL class B depending on what your main game plan or main goal is with a CDL license. A CDL class A, what does that mean? The technical term means any vehicle that weighs more than 26,000 pounds that's carrying a trailer that weighs more than 10,000 pounds. So a basic example is those big tractor trailers out there. Okay, you're gonna see a picture right over here on this screen here, just to kind of give you an idea. Other things that would be considered a CDL class A would say, say you're driving a pickup truck with a three or four car carrier behind it. So let's talk about the rule again. Does the overall vehicle weigh more than 26,000 pounds? Yes. Does the trailer itself weigh more than 10,000 pounds? Yes. So that's called a CDL Class A. Now with a CDL Class A, you also have access to drive any kind of CDL Class B vehicle. The only exception to this rule is you cannot drive anything with passengers, which means that the bus is out of the question. What is a CDL Class B vehicle? CDL Class B vehicle means that you get to drive any vehicle that weighs more than 26,000 pounds but is carrying a trailer or has no trailer that weighs less than 10,000 pounds. In most cases, CDL Class B vehicles carry no trailer or doesn't tag along anything behind it. So some examples would be box trucks, dump trucks, garbage trucks, cement trucks. If you get a normal Class B license, you are able to drive all of those vehicles, okay? Now, if you do not get the passenger endorsement with your normal Class B license, then again, you cannot drive a bus because you are not authorized to transport passengers, which means you're strictly only able to drive box trucks, dump trucks, garbage trucks, cement trucks, just to name a few. You cannot drive a Class A with a trailer and you cannot drive a bus. That clarifies the CDL Class B. Now, the last type of license that you can get is called a CDL Class B plus P. P stands for Passenger Endorsement. If you get a CDL Class B plus Passenger Endorsement license, and that's the kind of program that we offer at our school, you're able to drive any Class B vehicle, including passengers, which means a bus. Now, a Class B vehicle, again, is any vehicle that weighs more than 26,000 pounds that has a trailer that weighs less than 10,000 pounds. So, if you get a Class B plus passenger endorsement, you can drive your box trucks, your dump trucks, your garbage trucks, cement trucks, and buses. The only thing you cannot drive in that case is a tractor trailer. Now we're going to talk about why should you get a CDL Class A versus CDL Class B. So if you wanted to get a CDL Class A, that means that you're somebody who wants a bigger variety of what you can drive in the future, which means you can drive big tractor trailers and all those Class B box trucks, dump trucks, garbage trucks. So you do have a lot more options with the CDL Class A. If you want a CDL Class A, that also means that you're probably interested in traveling the country or making as much money as possible. If you're trying to do the CDL for the money only, a CDL Class A is where you want to go because that is where you can get and gain as much income as possible. For the simple fact, if you look at the CDL Class A pictures that we have here, the tractor trailers, if you see those trailers, they're a lot bigger than a box truck which means you can transport a lot more material, which means that the company is going to get paid more, which means the company can afford to pay you more because you're just doing more of the work. Now, if you're going to go for a CDL Class B, you're probably somebody who's not so interested in the money side, but you're more interested in staying home and having a more consistent schedule. Maybe you want to work for like a bus company like NJ Transit or Academy or Coach, where you have a very consistent schedule and you're home every day. Now there's a lot of jobs that we have available for our students in the Class B category, whether that's buses, box trucks, dump trucks, or garbage trucks, okay? Um, so those would be the two biggest differentiators. If you feel like you're way too afraid to drive those big tra tractor trailers and you're okay with staying home uh, more often and coming home every day, 
with a little bit less pay than a normal class A, then the class B is where you want to go. All right. So now let's say, hey, John, I want to be able to drive everything that, that is around. That is possible too. In order to drive everything, you're going to have to take two road tests. You're going to have to take one road test in a tractor trailer and one road test in a bus. And that will get, leave you with the same license that I have, which would be a CDL Class A with passenger endorsement, which means you can pretty much drive anything with four wheels or more. And that's the difference between CDL Class A and Class B. If you guys do have any extra questions, please give our office a call. We'll be happy to help you out and clarify exactly what is the best option for you personally to fit your goals and to fit your needs. At Driving Academy, our mission is to help 1 million people get to their road to freedom. So if you give us the pleasure of helping you get to your road to freedom with a CDL license, we're one step closer to our goal. So help us help you out. Give us a call or come on and visit us in Linden, New Jersey, and we'll be happy to help. Thanks. Have a great day.